Hi, I'm Nendo. Welcome. In this video, I'll guide you through five shoulder openers that you will hold for about one minute each side or one minute each pose. You don't need any props, just a yoga mat. Let's start moving the arms to warm up the muscles around the shoulders. Come and sit upright with the legs folded under or crossed. Bring the arm shoulder height, bend at the elbows in a 90 degree angle. On an inhale, lift the chest and squeeze the elbows back. On an exhale, round the back and wrap the right arm below the left arm. Inhale, arch the back, open the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the back, left arm wrapped under the right, chin to chest. Inhale, squeeze elbows back, chest up, gaze up. Exhale, eagle arms, right arm below the left. Inhale, cactus arms, stretch the chest and the front of the shoulders. Exhale, eagle arms, left below, right, stretch back of the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. Three more times on your own. And release. Now place the hands on the shoulders and circle the elbows back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now change direction, circle the elbows forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to hands and knees, knees together or hips width apart. Walk the hands forward, reach the chest towards the ground while arching the back. Chin or forehead can rest down. Seek for a mild stretch along the chest, the backs of the arms and maybe throat. Explore the width in between the arms. You can bend the arms as well. Palms together or palms on the shoulder blades. Find a position in which you feel a mild opening of the chest and the shoulders without strain. The last moments in puppy pose. Come out slowly. Come to seated with the legs to the front. Bend the knees, feet flat on the ground. Walk the hands back until you generate a gentle stretch along the front of the shoulders and arms. The hands can be together or apart.
it's time to release the stretch slowly. Sit upright, cross the right leg in front of the left or stack the right knee above the left. Reach the right arm up, bend the elbow, palm goes between the shoulder blades. Fold the left arm down behind the back, try to grasp the fingertips of the right hand. Maybe you prefer to focus on the right arm alone by pulling the elbow gently towards the center line or on the left arm holding onto the elbow. In any variation, relax the shoulders, keep the spine upright and the head in the middle. Let go and rest the hands down. Let's repeat on the second side. Left leg is crossed in front of the right or left knee is stacked on top of the right. Left arm reaches up, palm in between the shoulder blades. Right arm is folded down and behind the back. If clasping the hands together is not an option, you can hold onto your own shirt or focus on the top or bottom arm alone. Choose the variation that fits you and set the intention to hold the stretch for about one minute. Release cow face pose. Now come and lay on the belly. Straighten the left arm out to the side. Press into the right hand to lift the chest off the ground rolling onto the left side body. Use the right leg as a lever to increase the stretch to the front of the left shoulder and chest. Adjust the height of the left arm. Roll out of open wing pose. Explore the shoulder opener on the second side. Right arm is extended sideways. Press into the left hand to roll onto the right side body until a mild stretch is generated along the front of the right shoulder and chest. 
both legs can stay stacked, knees may be bent, or use the top leg as a lever, knee up, foot planted down. Go for a gentle stretch sensation. Sharp pain, any strain is definitely a no-go. You still want to be able to relax as a whole in the pose. Roll out onto the belly. Pause here. Release the arms down besides the body or rest the head down on the tops of the hands. The last pose, close swing, targets the back of the shoulder and arm. Glide the left arm under the chest. Rotate the arm if necessary. You may want to bend the left knee to increase the intensity. Slide the knee up towards the shoulder. Know that not all poses are effective for everyone. Personally, I don't feel much of a stretch in this one. More important is that you back off from any painful sensations and be cautious with tingling, numbness, pins and needles during the holds. Release the left arm from under the body. Fold the right arm across under the torso. Slide the right knee up over the ground. Maybe this increases the intensity of the stretch. The stretch is felt over the right shoulder blade and back of the right arm. So this last shoulder stretch is finished. You can free your arm. I hope your shoulders feel looser. Thank you for practicing with me.